Okay, y'all, I'm about to make a sausage egg scramble. Okay, so what are we going to do first? All right, y'all, I'm coming with some more videos today. Not as much as yesterday. Yesterday was just cook time. Okay, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean. If you don't eat pork, um, I understand. Okay, so let's see here. So you might want to try something different, you know, if you don't eat pork. That's understandable. Okay. I myself might be transitioning right over with you. All right, but let's see. And I'm making this right here, though, for my children. I'm not making this one for myself. I'm skipping on this. Okay, I'm going to eat something else. Okay, so what we want to do, of course, once again, cooking in our blue diamond uh, pan. I'm going to do a whole review on the whole set today. So be prepared for that, okay? But in the meantime, in the between time, let's do what I came to do. And that's to make a sausage potato egg scramble. This is very easy. So what we want to do is go ahead and put our oil in our pan, okay? Let it glide. All right, let it glide and slide. All right, there we go. Okay, in that order. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to take our sausage. Okay, and let's put our sausage in here. Okay. Okay. Go on and put our sausage in there. Just like that. And what we want to do is get a spatula. Okay, a spatula is just something, you know, some cooking utensil that has a flat surface. And y'all, when I do come with my video, it is going to be a mukbang, and I'm going to be talking to y'all about some real serious things, okay? Especially for people who are overweight, such as myself. I'm getting real today, y'all. Okay, so be prepared for that, because I will be coming in and tuning in and doing a mukbang and talking from my heart to y'all, and just encouraging all of the overweight people. You know, there comes a time in our life where we have to get sick of our own sugar, honey, iced tea. Yes, I said it. We must get sick of our own sugar, honey, iced tea. I think the biggest blessing blocker in our lives can be ourselves. I'm going to speak for me. I've been a blessing blocker in my life for many years. Subconsciously, I have been a blessing blocker in my life. But today I came to the point where I said no more. No more. I've been missing out on many things that God has for me because of who? Myself. Okay, but I'm not going to go into that now. I'll talk more about that in the mukbang that I'm doing. Okay. So what you do is you let this get nice and brown. Now, if you want to add onions and everything to this, you can. Okay, that is solely up to you. Okay, I'm not going to add any onions, but I am going to just add a little bit more sausage because I have teenagers. Okay, my teenagers are going to want it to be nice and hearty. Okay. There you go. You see it's getting nice and brown. Okay. I'm trying to think if I should do the pot review because I'm going to review the whole set. Okay. If I should do that in the kitchen or if I should do that in my bedroom. I'm going to um, see because in the kitchen, I don't mind doing it in the kitchen, but you know, the kids be watching TV and it's just noise interference. So I might just go ahead and do it in the bedroom. Okay. So we're letting this get nice and brown as it should. Okay, because we doesn't we don't want anything to be burnt, right? Okay, and y'all will see me add my seasonings after I add my uh, potatoes. Okay. Okay, now another one thing I do like to add to this is a little bit of syrup. Okay, because syrup just helps give it a flavor. Just normal syrup. This is just normal um, pancake syrup. No, no special flavor or nothing. Okay. Alright, so that's getting nice and brown. Okay. 
And I know they have um, crumble sausages that come already prepared. They're already done. But I don't like using those for this. I like to use the fresh um, ground sausage that you have to cook. That looks nice, doesn't it? Okay. So before I add my potatoes, I do like to make sure this is done. If I was making this for myself, of course, I would add the onions and all of that. But my kids don't want no onions in it. And that's understandable. Okay. Alright, y'all. So I think we are getting it in the groove here. Everything is getting in the groove. Okay, hopefully y'all can see that. Yes. Okay, you see everything is getting nice and brown. And there's a reason why I'm moving it around like this because like I said, I don't want anything burnt. Okay, let's see. All right, it smells so lovely. It smells so nice. Okay, so now I got my potatoes. Okay. And I'm not going to drain anything off of these because there's nothing to drain off. That little bit of oil you all see in it, I need that. Okay, to help with the flavor of this wonderful, easy dish. And what is this? This is a sausage, egg, and potato scramble. Okay. All right. So I have my potatoes that I already prepared. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and add my potatoes to the dish. Okay, so now we're going to add our seasonings. Let's go ahead and add our seasonings. Okay, and our seasonings today are going to consist of... Okay, this is something called soul food seasoning that I got from Food Lion. It's really good. So we add a little bit of soul food seasoning. Okay. Must add a little bit of paprika. Okay, I always say a little bit and I end up pouring a lot. That's why I'm always running out of it so quick. Okay, just a little bit of salt, not a lot. And if you want to use pink Himalayan salt, you can do that if you choose. Okay, it is healthier for you, that's for sure. And a little bit of these parsley flakes. Okay. And let's see here. Okay. And just a little bit of your garlic salt. Just a little bit. That's it. All right. And this Italian seasoning is good to add, too. Because, you know, it has sage in it. So, you know, sage and sausage taste so good. All right. So, let's do that. Let's mix that all together. Very easy, y'all. Very easy. That's what I'm about. Easy, good cooking. Okay? Alright, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my eggs and scramble them. 
separately. Okay, I'm going to take three eggs out because these are pretty small. in the egg that I don't like. And if you want to just do this with egg whites to make it healthier, you could definitely do that. Okay, that's not a bad idea, you know. That's not a bad idea at all. Period. <laughs> Alright, so I got my eggs in here. Okay, see? Scrambling them on up. I'm going to go ahead Okay, we're going to add them. Oh, I should have had some pepper. I don't know why I don't buy like the big things of pepper when I actually should because I do cook with pepper enough to, you know. I don't know why I don't buy a lot of pepper. Well, the big things of pepper. A lot of small ones. Okay, so you just let that egg scramble on up in here. Just go on and mix it around. Okay, you know when it's done. Let's see here. When you see all them eggs nicely scrambled. Okay. I told y'all those eggs was really small. Very small eggs. Okay, hold on. Okay, another thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just add a couple of pieces of cheddar cheese. Okay, I'm going to break them up. I'm not going to just, you know, I'm going to break them up like this. Okay, just break them up. Just so let you. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, must be that sage. Ooh. Okay, I'm not coughing over the food. Okay, just break up some cheddar in there. You know, cheddar make everything better. <laughs> okay, especially when that cheddar is money. All right, <laughs> get that cheddar. Let's try to make everything better. All right. So I'm going to cut some more cheese. You know, there's some people that will just lay the cheese over and do that. I don't want to do all of that, so we will not do that. Okay. But what I will do is just mix everything together like this. Okay, and then what you do is put a top over it. That helps the cheese to melt even more. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a top over it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just put my little top over it like this. Oh, not that one. Oops, sorry, y'all. Wrong top. This is the right top for this. Okay. And wherever you see that diamond emblem, that's because it's the blue diamond. Hey, um, top. Okay, so that heat is all up in there. Okay. Alright, just leave it on there for a couple of minutes. Okay. Leave it on there for a little bit more. Okay. That's that blue that, that diamond there. Blue diamond. Blue diamond. Alright. Okay, it's getting there. Go ahead and give it a 
I'm gonna just give it another mix around, okay? Because I want that cheese mixed up in there. You know, I don't want people just eating a hunk of cheese. All right, a hunk, a hunk, a hunk of little cheese. Okay, there we go. This is an easy thing to make, okay? The potatoes that I used, I think those are yellow potatoes. Let me see. These are what you call gold potatoes. Those are gold potatoes, okay? Alright. Alright, so this is a close-up, y'all. Okay, I could turn off I could turn it off now, put it on the plate to serve. Okay, but this is what you're dealing with. An easy potato sausage, egg and cheese scramble. There we go. Okay. And I always like to put a trusty stuff. Okay, there we go. So you can see it. We eat with our eyes. Hello. Okay, so I can turn this off now and serve. Okay. Okay, and this is how you serve this. Okay, serve it. Alright. Okay, you just take that. Alright, you can put toast with it, you know, waffles, you know, whatever. You know? Sometimes people just like to eat it plain. They don't like to eat it with all of that. Alright. There you go. And that's it. That's how you do it. Okay, and this is a sausage, egg, potato, and cheese scramble. You don't have to have cheese if you don't want, but it does taste better with some cheese, please. And there you go, a sausage, egg, and cheese scramble. Okay. Got to put a little more because you know teenagers, you know. Okay, a sausage, egg, and cheese scramble. Very easy to cook, very inexpensive. Okay, um, you know, if you don't want to use this, these type of sausage, ground sausage, you don't have to. Okay, I'm sure they have other healthy alternatives, but that's okay. That's fine. And, but this is delicious. Okay, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. All right. See y'all later. Bye.